Hi, this is Patrick from ArcSight. <clears throat> I'm going to show you the annotation tools we have available in ArcSight in this video. Annotation tools are available from this selected icon near the bottom end of the toolbar. Uh, they consist of a, several text type tools, which we'll go over, a cloud-based selection, and then at the bottom there's some display. So we'll start there at display. I'm going to open this up. This is where you can set the default settings, how these things will appear. In this case, text. I can have color, a background color, which is useful if you, <clears throat> excuse me, if you want to have the uh, text that you're adding sort of pop up or sit on top of some other stuff. Show that in just a minute. Automatic text height. If you have this toggled on, the text height will change depending on the zoom level you're at. So you may end up with different size text. If you turn this off, you, the thing below it is the text height. You can choose a common size that will always appear at. Then there's the typical alignment, left, middle, and uh, right, as well as fonts. The fonts will also allow you, if there is a version of it that is bold or what, whatever the case may be, they'll all be selectable here from this. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to pick this top option. It's called uh, text block or text. If I tap on the screen, I can start typing. What happens is it'll just continue to grow going to the, the in that one direction, which is fine. But let's say you, you also want to just define a certain area. Let's say that I want to only have it show up for this area. So instead of just tapping on the screen, I can define a width at which that text will stay. So now as I type, when I hit that width, it'll start creating a new line. So that's the text tool. The next one down is called the call out, and it's going to allow you to point an arrow and have some text associated with it. So I'm going to start drawing an arrow, but here is the start. And there you go. Much like anything else, I can select it and make some move it or resize it from the corners. Uh, but additionally, where the, the line bends, the arrow line bends, you can press down on that and drag it around so that you can change how it's being displayed on screen. Next one down, this is cloud. I'm going to change its color to red, and you can use that simply to make cloud to indicate some sort of information there.